Wait, isn't Derek supposed to get the kid-focused handheld titles and leave me to the RPGs that would make his fragile little eyes bleed? I blame all his headbanging. But for whatever reason, Moshi Monsters Katsuma Unleashed ended up on my desk and... Man, it's in an awesome box. I mean, just look at this box. It even jumps out at you. And there are... Um... These objects, which are apparently a cute witch thing and a misshapen donut with googly eyes. What do these things have to do with a 3DS platformer? Not a damn thing in it seem. I think that's too bad. More games need misshapen donuts with googly eyes. So in the unfortunately misshapen donut with googly eyes free gameplay of Moshi Monsters Katsuma Unleashed, you've got... Well... Katsuma, platforming around the kind of secret-laden multipath stages that have long been a staple of the Sonic the Hedgehog series. Just, you know, not nearly blue hedgehog fast. Katsuma there has a spinning claw attack and a number of other powers acquired after saving your fellow Moshi monsters from the bosses stationed at the end of each of six worlds. What powers, you ask? Now, I'm not gonna go into that Wonder Boy shtick again, since even Wonder Boy wasn't able to dislodge and throw his own eyeballs. That's some upper tier stuff right there. As is apparently common for these Moshi Monsters titles, there's plenty of cash to collect in the form of rocks, but they look just like diamonds of various colors to me. These can be spent to challenge special stages for speed and, well, more cash. If you collect lots of cash in each stage, you might win even more cash from the strange how much cash did you collect gauge. And by amassing fat stacks, you can unlock, um, things to use on the web-based Moshi Monsters Kids social network gaming service platform. These and other strange creatures, which might include our previously mentioned misshapen donut with googly eyes, can be found hidden throughout the stages or unlocked via street pass, which is a pretty cool implementation. But unless you're a kid who's into this whole franchise, there's really nothing here that jumps out at you. It's a competent platformer with some cool interaction with its web-based service, but if you're not invested in that particular aspect, or let's be serious, the kid you're buying this for isn't invested in that particular aspect, it's just a bog-standard game with cute monsters speaking gibberish. Maybe that's what you're looking for after a long day of headbanging, making countless references to Brave, and bragging about all the interesting eateries you frequent. Maybe that's why Derek usually plays these titles.